Um, I think I would combine this. I, I was afraid in the beginning to combine it with peels and such, but you can combine it with a peel. It's actually going to you know, penetrate deeper after a peel. Um, what else? Uh, and then I've been combining it with microphototherapy and um, fantastic results because they're hitting the skin at two different depths. Right, so you know, you do the peel, and that's very superficial. That's just the stratum corneum, a couple of layers off the top, right? If it's a superficial peel, um, and that's all I do is superficial peels because I have other machines that go deeper and bypass the epidermis, leaving it intact, so my clients have no downtime. Because who wants to walk around looking like a crazy molting snake? Nobody. All right, so I'll I'll do a peel. I'll do this. Um, I'll do microcurrent with this. Microcurrent works beautifully with this because this will not lift the muscles. It will definitely lift the skin, but it's not doing much for the muscles. Um, and so I'll do this. Uh, I'll do a peel. I'll do this. I'll do microphototherapy. Actually, I'll do a peel first, then microphototherapy because the skin has to be dry. Then I put a mask on, and then I do radio frequency, and then I will do... Um, microcurrent to lift the muscles and that is one hell of a treatment it's beautiful it's people's skin looks amazing it's you know the results last a really long time i mean for a facial and if people are doing a series um that that order can be really beneficial you can get great results um you know positive benefits over time um po what do we say so positive subtle benefits and, you know, every time you come in, you see a little bit more lifting, a little bit less wrinkles, a little bit fuller of a face. And that's, that's what you see with microcurrent alone. But when you add radio frequency to it, it really, really helps.